So, how was it? I'm so sorry, oh, I'm sorry. Look. I mean, just look at this. I'm gonna be so late. You know what? Just next time, watch where you're going. Not everyone's having a chill walk in the car. Well, actually... Oh, honey, I don't care what backpackers do. That is twenty dollars. Cheers. You know they say the first step to becoming rich is simply spending less. You know if I wanted to have a talk about finance, I'd call Jeff Bezos. Six months? Uh, actually, a year. But I guess time flies. <laughs> well, it's great to have you back. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so, mission trip to, what was it, India? Um, Africa. Malawi, actually. Mm. Uh, but yeah, the time I spent there really helped me to see things differently. You know, life is unpredictable. Right, well, look, I've, I've really got to go now, but we should totally catch up and you can tell me more about this. Okay? <laughs> Bye. Oh my god, is this actually you? No, it's your stalker. How are you, Ashley? I'm great, actually. You? Mm, I'm not too sure. But um, hey, I was wondering if you are free to meet tomorrow night. So many things to catch up with, right? Absolutely. Um, I'm meeting Thomas tomorrow at Newtown Bar at 7. Did you want to join? Yes, of course. Sounds good. All right then. See you tomorrow, April. See you tomorrow, Ash. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> 
So, April, tell us about your trip to Africa, please. Malawi. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so it was one of the best places I've ever seen. Like, you know, they just live in the present and you see children playing on the street all the time and they just look at me like I existed. Yeah. It was... Amazing. Make made a crystal, you ain't made a glass. No big deal if you fall on your head right up to the bandstand, look in the air. The happening people are hanging up there. So yeah, it was it was great. It was amazing. But um I missed you guys, I missed home and three ring circus happening here. Just so tell me, April, did you um, talk to Matt yet? No. Did you? No. No, I mean, I didn't even know you were back until last night. When I was there, I kept asking myself if I did the right thing with Matt. I mean, it was so easy to leave. I didn't even think twice. It's, it's a scary. This is the right time for you to start your new life, April. You're going to be perfectly fine, and you're going to do what you've always wanted to do. Doesn't everyone deserve that? You're pregnant, aren't you? I mean, is it that obvious? Well... You drinking water? Yeah. Maybe it's obvious. I didn't know you were dating someone. I mean, how did this happen? <laughs> I think you know how this happens, April. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I mean, I meant to. I... I just didn't have time, you know? I know. I should be happy for you, Ash, but it's like I completely lost myself. I'm this thing, and I walk, and I'm here, but I can't feel it. This life, I can't feel it. So I just, I'm not sure how to react to this. I mean, it bothers me. It bothers me because I don't want the same things as everyone else, and all I see around me is deep pockets and empty hearts. April, maybe you simply don't need to react. Maybe, I don't know, you just need to be yourself and let the world be. It's not that I was fitting before, but I used to just go on and get over it. I used to think, this is life and it's okay. But now I just feel lied to, I feel looked at, I feel powerless. And I can't even be happy for a friend of mine getting with her life. I'm, I'm sorry, Ash. Just... It's okay. Let me drive you home. No, it's fine. I just... I think I'm just gonna walk. April. Just listen to me. The only thing you need to get over is that feeling of not being good enough for yourself. Just do me a favor and go and live your life, but know it, know what you want. Congratulations, Ash. <laughs> Thank you.
How was it? It was like time stopped there and there was no need to run anywhere. I'm sorry about us. And I'm sorry too. Was I enough for you, April? How, how do I know when it's enough? Was I enough for you? April, I just got engaged. I was expecting a baby. Oh my God, April. You know that if you're gonna do this, you'll lose everything. I mean, Matt's probably thinking about getting married and having kids already. <laughs> ah. Oh, come on. I can't wait to have a little mini-me to cuddle and yell at. What about you? I can't believe what you're saying. Try to understand, Matt. I need this. I need to think about my life. What? What do you exactly need? Do you think you're going to find yourself in the jungle? Oh, you're putting too much pressure on me. Everybody is. I can't deal with this right now. <laughs> you can't deal with this. You know what? I don't deserve this. Standing here feeling that like I'm the problem. I don't know, I just... I just feel like I have to, you know, take some time and do something by myself help others and, you know, just get some perspective on my life. And I really think this trick might help. Well, then go. Matt and I will miss you terribly. How's Ashley? It's crazy, I never saw it before. April, we never... I know. I know. You guys are just looking for the same things. So you're not mad? Do you ever feel like a rat running on the wheel sometimes? Like nothing else matters? It's just about running? Not that often. I like to believe that I get to choose what I do with my life. Maybe you're so scared of choosing that you got yourself stuck in that maze. What if you're running through a no crew road? By the way, I think you're really brave. Do you just think I'm crazy? No. I wish I was as free as you are. I'm happy for you, Matt. I really am. But I make my choices based on the journey. No, what's at the end of it. So even if I'm going into a north through road, well, bring it on. You know, you haven't changed a bit. Are 
I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, my heart just jumped. Yeah, mine too. Um, yeah, I should have looked back. It's okay. We'll both do it next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.